Welcome everyone. So today we are going to talk about how to declutter and actually change your life. Now, before we get into it, I do want to say thank you for tuning into this video today. If you are new here, go ahead, hit the subscription button, like, comment, and share, and also hit the bell notification so that whenever I do post a video, you are the very first to see it. Now let's get into it. Decluttering is not just about tidying up your space. I mean, how ironic is that? Because in this video, I am tidying up my space. This is about real change about how decluttering can bring a shift in your life. We all know the feelings of being surrounded by stuff and how it can weigh us down, but guess what? Clearing the clutter can lead to profound transformations. Let's explore how decluttering can actually change your life. Power of letting go, honey. Let's begin with the idea of letting go. When we declutter, it's not about physical objects. It's about shedding what no longer serves us. Sometimes it's clothes, books, items, and even people. I'm not even gonna hold you, even people. So sometimes you have to let them go. But often it's emotional baggage, attachments, or habits that we need to release. The act of letting go creates space, space for new opportunities, clearer thoughts, and positive energy. Think about your living environment. Clutter often brings chaos to our minds, because I'm not gonna lie, if my bedroom is a hot mess, my mind is a hot mess, okay? My bedroom will literally tell you how my mind is operating at the moment. I don't know about y'all, but I know that's for me. I'm not going to speak on nobody else. <laughs> but by simplifying our space, we allow our minds to calm down. An organized and tidy space promotes clarity, it reduces stress, and it enables us to focus better. It's not just about the look of a room. It's about creating an environment that nurtures a peaceful mind. I don't know about y'all, but I want a peaceful mind, okay? <laughs> the next thing is the art of intentional living. Decluttering isn't only about what you remove. It's about what you choose to keep. Mm -hmm, let me say that again. It's not only about what you remove. It's also about what you choose to keep. The process prompts us to reevaluate our belongings and our lives. It pushes us to be intentional about what, what we allow into our space and by extensions. And being intentional means choosing what truly adds value, joy, and purpose to our lives. Because I'm gonna be honest, when I think of intentional living, I think about what do God want me to do today? How can I serve God in a way that what I'm doing is purposeful? Because let's be honest, like we live in a world where no shade to anybody else, but we live in a world where people aren't goal focused. People aren't purpose driven. And, you know, and I can't say that I do that all the time, but there are more times than none. I'm checking myself to say, all right, God, what do you want me to do, Jesus? Let me know, because right now in this season, I don't know what you want me to do. And also, who do I need to have in my space right now? remove those people that don't need to be in this season with me right now which is a hard prayer to do and sometimes can be scary I was actually talking about this to a friend of mine but it can also be scary because he once you pray that prayer oftentimes he's removing people who you genuinely care about but there are just times man people can't go up with you the last thing I want to focus on is embracing change and growth I know, I know, sometimes being in an uncomfortable season, it's not fun. It really isn't. But just remember that those uncomfortable seasons, that's where God is pushing you to be a better version of yourselves. Remember, decluttering is a journey, not just one-time task. You are going to continue to grow and adapt to change and continually reassessing what we need and what we don't need. As we declutter, we learn about ourselves, our preferences, our needs, and our priorities. This self-discovery is empowering and helps us evolve as individuals when we start to declutter, okay? With that being said, thank you so much for joining me in exploring how decluttering can be an ch actual change in our lives. If you found these insights valuable and want more, let me know. Go ahead and hit the like button.
like button and subscribe so that I'm able to provide you with even more content. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.